Thank goodness this season never reached the levels of the previous season. Arrow season five. So Arrow season five is obviously the fifth season of Arrow. If you don't know, it's a TV show based off the DC Comics character, the Green Arrow, even though this is not really the Green Arrow. But in case you guys don't know, to a lot of people, they know this. Arrow season four was undoubtedly the worst season of Arrow and it was, it's, it's just painful. I didn't feel like watching Arrow season five. When it was coming out, I was like, all right, all right, all right. Let's just see if they listened to the problems of the show. Here's the thing I'll say about Arrow season five. While it wasn't great, it was a huge improvement over the last season. The best thing they did in this entire season was not make Oliver and Felicity be together because let's just face it, I'm sorry, that ruined the whole show. Their relationship fucking sucks. And I like in this season that the flashbacks were actually decent. Definitely season five flashbacks are better than Arrow season four and three flashbacks. There was a whole episode where they dedicated to flashbacks. And I was like, okay, finally, they have an episode where they actually are focusing on the flashback. Because in the previous two seasons, they had nothing at all for the flashbacks that they had to put them in the episode for a quick second. In this season, the flashbacks actually lasted longer than 30 seconds. There were some episodes in the season where I had to step back and I'm like, whoa, this episode could be in Arrow season one and two. That's how good some of these episodes were in this season. I got scared. I was like, oh my God, this is actually happening. Like the season finale, it was intense. I was actually watching. I was like, okay, I'm actually interested in seeing what's going on. You know, like with the previous season finale, I didn't give a shit at all what happened to anybody i mean i still don't that much in the season finale but at least with this one i actually wanted to watch it like Stephen amell who plays oliver queen green arrow look i'll be honest again like i said in my arrow season four review i like Stephen amell he seems a really cool dude and i liked his acting in the first two seasons but ever since then i've noticed he's pretty wooden with his acting and the same goes for this season there are some moments where i'm like okay He's doing a decent job, but he doesn't change his face. He has the same expression. And again, I don't think it's his fault. Maybe it's due to the script. But at the same time, he's been doing this for the past three seasons. So now let's get on to Felicity. I hate the character Felicity, but I don't blame the actress Emily Bitt Rickards. It's not her fault. In the first half of the season, they really held back on Felicity. They were like, okay, let's make her how she was back in Arrow season one and two where she was the comedic relief. While they did reduce her screen time, it still doesn't change the fact that Felicity, she's not gonna go back to the way she was in the first two seasons of Arrow where she was likable. There were many times in the season where I was just like, you know what, Oliver, to end your headache, just kill her. Or let someone else kill her. Just kill Felicity off. Oliver, he set up his new team, and I'm gonna be honest with you, with the first couple of episodes that his team were in, I was not really feeling them. I was like, okay, I get what you're trying to do, but the team's not really working for me. But as the season went on, these characters started to grow into me. Like Wild Dog, I thought he was decent for what he was. You know, by all means, he's not the most memorable character ever, but him, he definitely was someone that I liked. And the guy with the robes, I totally forgot his name. He was cool, but then he dipped and they never mention him again. And then they had Mr. Terrific, and I'm gonna admit, I wasn't feeling Mr. Terrific that much in this season. There were a lot of times where he just felt like another version of Felicity. I think one of the biggest positives was the villain of the season. I thought Adrian Chase as the villain, Prometheus, was really good. One of the reasons why I liked him a lot as a villain is because Prometheus, he really got to Oliver and really pushed him to his limits, and that's what I really liked a lot. And the fight scenes in this season Improved a lot. Don't get me wrong. There are moments though where the fight choreography is not the best. For example, in the first episode, you could tell a lot of the punches don't connect. Even though there were times where that happened and the, the fight choreography was bland at times, this season, the fight scenes definitely improved. Especially in the season finale where things got intense. Oh my gosh, they actually did a good job. And also, I really liked that in the season finale, you had Manu Bennett come back as Destro because I love Manu Bennett as Destro. I like what they did with his character, and there were some moments between him and Oliver, I was like, wow, that's actually good dialogue. One of my biggest gripes with this season was that it was so inconsistent. Sometimes you'll have episodes that were so good that they could have been on Arrow seasons one and two, but then you have some episodes that were like, okay, 
decent. I'm okay with it. And then you have episodes where you're like, what? get the... Like to put it into context, Oliver's hunting Prometheus down. And then Felicity's like, oh, I got this thing from Hive. We're gonna find him. Oh shit, he's here. He messes up the Arrow Cave. And then the next episode is just dedicated to Oliver Felicity stuck in the Arrow Cave trying to find a way to get out. You have these couple of episodes that were focusing on the story. All right, story, 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 story. Move that shit aside. Let's focus on Oliver and Felicity effing each other. Why? I guess I'm starting to talk about the bad storylines that were in this season. For example, why do we have to focus on Felicity getting to Hive? And by the end of it, she's like, oh, I find out where Adrian Chase is. Oh my God, he's here. So it's like, what was the point of the storyline if Prometheus was gonna find them no matter what? Should have erased that storyline and just have her trying to find something that she found on the internet or some, something where it didn't have to evolve the hive. It was so unnecessary. And whenever those scenes came up, it drained the hell out of you. And what was funny in the season of the writers, they tried to redeem themselves like, okay, we fucked up by killing Black Canary, you know, we messed up by killing Laurel. So we're gonna bring in a new Black Canary. One that actually has the canary cry, you know, it's actually a metahuman. And it's funny, because in this episode, when they're introducing the new Black Canary, it shows them that the particle accelerator, it hits her, and she gets the canary cry. She's a metahuman now. Why didn't you do that in the first place with Laurel? Because she's screaming of watching her partner die, right? It would have made perfect sense in season two of Arrow, because in season two of Arrow, we actually see what happens to Barry, you know, he gets hit by the particle accelerator. It would have made sense that in the same episode as he gets hit, we see Laurel because she's drunk in that season that she starts to cry and she yells and then she gets hit by it and then she becomes a metahuman, becomes a Black Canary. But I will admit this new Black Canary, Diana Drake, she was fine. It didn't bother me much. It was just that she just didn't really do that much for me. I was like, okay, cool. New Black Canary. A lot of their old characters, they really didn't give a shit about. For example, Thea, I don't even remember what she did in this entire season. Then you have Diggle where, okay, first off, he has a new helmet, right? Looks better than the last one. But still, let me tell you something. Why are you going to have a helmet and then there's light shining down your face for every criminal that you're taking down to see? Tell me how the hell that makes sense. But anyways, even with Diggle, there were some episodes like, okay, I like it. You know, he's dealing with some stuff in the army and everything. But by the end of it, you just don't care. So overall, Arrow Season 5, while it was definitely a huge improvement over the last previous seasons and a half, it's still needed a lot of improvement as well. And to be honest, out of these CW shows, you know, Supergirl, Arrow, and Flash, Arrow was the best one out of these shows this year. So I'm gonna give Arrow season five a solid C. Now with season six, let's hope that they can actually have a good consistent season. So guys, that was my review for Arrow season five. What did you guys think of this season? Do you guys think this season was a huge improvement over the last season, or do you think it's still bad and Arrow has no chance of coming back at all. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys for taking the time every day to watch my video. As always, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day.